Spermophilus beechii, also known as the California ground squirrel, is the leading vertebrate pest in California. The California ground squirrel belongs to the family Scuridae and has a lifespan of up to five years, but on average they only live to be about one to two years. Their coats are a mix of gray, light brown, and dusty colored fur, which appears mottled to assist in camouflage. They are diurnal, meaning that they are active during the day, so when they need a place for cover, they burrow into the ground. Hence the name California ground squirrel. These animals mate in early spring and have one litter with around 60 young per year. Their gestation period is 30 days long and they will wean their offspring within 55 days. While ground squirrels are typically seen roaming through and around fields, their main habitat is in the underground burrows which they dig themselves. These squirrels typically have burrows that average about 35 feet long. The burrows start two to three feet below the surface of the soil and have a four inch wide diameter. Their home range is less than 450 feet around their burrow due to predation. The green area shows where they are found throughout California. When squirrels are not in their burrows, they are out foraging for food. These squirrels are omnivorous creatures and can survive off of a wide variety of foods, such as seeds, nuts, fruits, insects, pizza, birds, snakes, other rodents, or even their own kind. The damage that the California ground squirrel causes is one of the easiest ways to identify them. Their burrows can cause soil erosion and is detrimental for crops such as wine grapes because the water gets diverted from the roots into the squirrel burrow. They can also dig up plants, eat the crops and roots, and create mounds from their burrow entrances, which creates a hassle for mowing. They are also known to gnaw on irrigation pipes and sprinkler heads, which creates another problem. Ground squirrels are also known to carry the bubonic plague, which can be transferred to other animals and even to humans through fleas. Other types of squirrel identification are traces of scat and the chirp-like sound they make when they are alarmed or distressed. These squirrels will chirp when a predator is near to warn other squirrels in the area. Some of the animals that prey on the California ground squirrels are raccoons, foxes, badgers, rattlesnakes, and even humans. While the squirrels cannot develop an immunity to humans shooting them, they can become resistant to rattlesnake venom. Rattlesnakes will mainly go after the young squirrels because they have not developed an immunity to the venom yet. When the California ground squirrel comes face to face with a rattlesnake, they will move their tails side to side as a heat illusion to the snake. Along with this, they will sometimes strike, bite, or even eat the snake. Here is a video narrated by everybody's favorite. A squirrel versus snake. The snake gonna whoop him. This is an easy win, man. This is an easy win for the snake. Why are you not biting back? All you gotta do is hit him in the head right now. Go and hit him right now. Strike him. Strike him. Strike him. There you go. Back him up. Back him up. The squirrel is hard. What gang he from? I got my money on the squirrel, cuz. Don't get scared. Get the money. Oh, there you go. Over the top. Oh, he got him. He went for the head. He got him. He got him in the head, cuz. He 
you got him, cuz. Spoil got him. Now, if he can bust a nut, you know he can bust a snake head over. No problem. That's the nut buster right there. The best way to avoid damage caused by the California ground squirrel is through good management practices. The key management techniques are trapping, baiting, fumigation, habitat disruption, and shooting. Trapping is an effective technique year-round. The three main types of traps used are box traps, tunnel traps, and conibrea traps. Here we have an example of how to set up a conibrea trap. First you need to open the trap by moving the spring mechanism out of the way. Then make sure the trigger mechanism is close to the center to make setting the trap easier later on. Next, squeeze the spring while simul simultaneously squeezing the two bars with the trigger mechanism. Once you have the two bars held together, you can let go of the spring. The trap should now be easy to hold. Next, you can set the trigger mechanism by lining up the notch bar with the trigger and slowly releasing the trap. Make sure to keep your hand out of the way during this step. Once the trap is set, the safest way to manipulate the trap around is by grabbing the spring. Now you can place the trap over the burrow entrance. When the squirrel comes through, it should run into the trigger and set off the trap. Here's what happens when you don't set the trap up properly. When trapping, it is best to start by baiting the traps without setting them so that the squirrels will think they can eat the bait safely. When you are ready to set the trap, make sure to set it right up against the burrow hole because squirrels can easily learn to avoid the trap by slipping around it. The next technique, baiting, is most effective towards the end of spring and through the beginning of fall because squirrels will feed on seeds during the spring and summer. Anticoagulant baits are also available but the squirrels must have multiple feedings of the bait in order for it to take effect. Baiting can be in a bait station or spread on the ground. Homeowners usually opt for box baits, while growers use broadcast baits that can be spread by hand. Fumigation is most effective in the spring and summer when the burrow is full of the ground squirrel babies. However, you must be aware of the other animals living in the burrow and should have a pile of dirt ready in order to backfill the hole. This method is most effective when the soil is moist because it will help to keep the fumes in the burrow. Rotonators are also an option. These will cause the burrows to collapse along with a concussive force strong enough to kill the nearby squirrels. Habitat disruption can be done at any time and is most effective when the burrow is completely destroyed. Yank that oh, out, it stops it. the flow of the gas. You yell, fire in the hole! <laughs> fire in the hole! Oh, 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 I got it on Snapchat. Fire in the hole! Fire. And last but certainly not least is shooting, which can be done at any time. It may not always be accurate and successful, but it sure is fun. It's time to make it rain on the switches.